Hey, it's Steph Solferini here from the Marco Polo Group. Um, we've had two more exits from our companies this quarter. These are clients that have worked with me for several years, and we've helped to really restructure the whole business, make it super profitable. Uh, then we scaled the business up, did organic and inorganic acquisitions, got it to a stage where strategics and PE companies would find it very attractive, and then we got uh, a stellar exit for both of them. And people have asked me, how did you achieve that? What are some of the secret sources, especially now that we're coming into a difficult period where our balance sheets are being strained, sales lines are being tested, and cost structures are being re-examined. And the key themes, when I look back on what we've done, is one, we got our CEOs to really focus very, very hard on their clients and their needs and to be hyper-focused on how to do that. Two, we restructured uh, the sales reorganization to make it much more uh, productivity improved, uh, get an improved ROI on it and to make sales machine much more effective. Three, we managed to get the, um, uh, the cost structure right by streamlining it without getting rid of the muscle that goes to business. And four, we got the balance sheet uh, refined so that it could ride out any uh, possible downturn fast. So if I look at all those four in turn, one, we made sure that customers were super pleased that we retained them and that we restructured things so that we would offer clients what was required uh, at the right price point. So we went through a whole pricing strategy to structure. Uh, what we did was we priced up for premium prices. We uh, re-examined cost structure for even price things that weren't profitable enough. And we got rid of some things that were not making money. We then worked with the chief revenue officers and I went through exactly the whole sales machine and we came with suggestions of how to improve it right along the whole funnel, whether it's in lead generation, marketing, sales, the pitch, how the sales teams are managed. And we went very uh, um, forensic on, on all of that and it created massive improvements. So driving massive sales would help. Three, we restructured costs by um, going through line item by line item, all of the key expenses in the business and seeing what was uh, a good investment, what was not, and what we needed to get rid of. And we did that very um, surgically. And four, we restructured the balance sheet to give as much runway as possible for the growth um, and make the ROE of the company much better. So that by the time uh, we hit you know, a downturn in the economy, we were very resilient, but also we proved that we could make more money uh, even if things were tougher. And we got some stellar exits because the business model was really, really good, really strong. Uh, the unique differentiation of the business was very clear. Um, there was a very structured machine which was not reliant on the founder CEO. And uh, the competitive advantage was clear to everybody. And it was evident because of the pricing, which was premium, and it was uh, held up by clients. So in summary, that is how we achieved amazing um, businesses. You know, we applied that. Um, clearly, it's customized for every single client. Some of them, we helped to scale them, get funding. And then some of them got strategic exits. Some of them got key exits. Uh, but the current theme is that we've managed to get some stellar results for our clients, so two in this small quarter alone, um, by playing to this game and getting this formula to work very effectively. So if you want to achieve the same thing, if you want to really improve the profitability of your business as you hit uh, tougher times, give us a call. We'll make your business stronger. We'll make it scaled. And we'll get it ready for a stunning exit. And if you don't want to exit it, you can keep it. And it will be an amazing business anyway. You're going to run it like if you were going to sell it anyway to get maximum value for it. So I look forward to hearing from you. All the best. Bye-bye.